Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this one, I'm gonna be boiling some water and I'll add to that half a cup of rice, letting my rice soak for 20 minutes. The reason I turned up the stove is because we're not making rice right now. This is just to soften it. Then I'm gonna be draining it. Then on the same pan, I'm gonna be adding four cups of milk. I'm using regular rice and milk, by the way. I've never done this recipe with any other kind of rice and milk. Then in goes half teaspoon cinnamon. And I made a mistake here, actually. I should have added an entire teaspoon of cinnamon as opposed to like just half of it. Because because the recipe calls for two cinnamon sticks or one teaspoon of cinnamon then I'm gonna be mixing that heating it for about 15 minutes in medium heat and once that is boiling I'm gonna be adding the rice and I'm gonna let it there for 15 minutes or until the rice is like soft and you're gonna have a bunch of this ones like huge bubbles and I think it's because we're working with milk nothing happens really it doesn't affect the recipe all you have to do is like kind of like break it I'm sharing this because after I added the rice and this happened a bunch of times and the first times it kind of freaked me out a little bit you say yes I'm kind of like shield that is formed by boiling milk I mean I don't know I'm guessing here then I'll add 100 grams of uh, condensed milk in low speed for about 10 to 15 minutes and you're gonna notice that when you add this the consistency thickens a lot then I'm gonna be adding half a teaspoon of clear vanilla extract feel free to add regular vanilla extract I didn't add the like darker one because I wanted this to be as bright as possible now I'm gonna be honest here I overdid the heating time I should have stopped after I added the vanilla this is where I should have stopped right here it has like the perfect consistency because yeah this is the consistency that I wanted to go for I usually like my rice pudding a bit creamier this is a consistency that i remember from my childhood my mom used to make this recipe a lot and it was never dried because in those five minutes dry my recipe a lot and this is how it looks like if you go for 15 minutes to me it looks kind of dry but i wanted to leave this in just to show you both i was gonna actually do it again so i could show you like the right consistency as a final result but i decided not to because it was still so good anyways you saw it before the consistency i mean some people like it drier and that's why i wanted to show you both consistencies but overall this recipe is so good so yummy it's one of the easiest yummiest recipes and that i've tried so if you do this stop at 10 minutes but yeah hopefully you go for it and try it and let me know down below if you like this don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye i usually like my rice crisp <laughs> rice crispies